Hi all, welcome to Four Skeletons. So today's question is related from the batch apex. Okay, so all you must aware about that in our batch apex, uh, records are processed in number of chunks varied. Chunk default size is two hundred and minimum maximum size is two thousand and one. Okay, so here the question is like this. Let's like suppose I have four hundred records total. Okay, and when I run my batch apex, so here two chunks will be created with default size of two hundred. Okay, now. In my second chunk, one of the record is not correct, or it throws an exception. So now here my question is, what will happen to the 400 records? Will both the chunks will process successfully, or one chunk out of two, only one chunk will be processed, and second chunk will be completely rolled back? So what will happen in this case? So uh, here we will go to the DML operation. So here. The two types of DML we use to perform one is the simple DML where we only write the DML name that is like the insert, update, or observe list whatever we want to on whatever we want to perform this DML. And the second is use we use database dot insert database dot update database dot observe and all. Okay. So now the difference between both is in the simple one. The if any exception occur in any of the record, then the complete rollback will take place. That is, none of the record will be saved in the database. No processing will be take place. Okay. Now, in the second case, what will happen? Partially processing will take place. Only the records which are throwing an exception will not inserted or will not committed to the database. Except other will be committed to the database. Okay. So now here in the question, same depends upon the DML we are using. Okay, if we have used the simple insert operation here, then in this case only one chunk will be processed. That is the first one, and the second one in which we uh, get an exception in one of the record will be completely rolled back. Okay, only out of two, one chunk will be processed here, and two hundred records will be rolled back. They will not commit to the database. Now next is if I use DML like database dot insert database dot update. Now in this case, what will happen? First chunk will be completely processed and commit to the database because no exception is there. But in the second chunk, what will happen? Only the records which are throwing an exception will be rolled back, and the other left one will be completely processed and commit to the database. Like suppose in the second chunk. Out of two hundred, ten records are not correct, which are throwing an exception. So these ten records will be rolled back, and other remaining one ninety records will be committed to the database. Okay, so it is always advised to use the database row insert update DMLs instead of simple DMLs. Okay, so so that the changes will be com instead of completely rolled back, partially processing will take place. Okay, so hope you guys understood this. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll meet you soon in the next video.